Hello on the internet, the floating voice of Simon Miller back once again to guide you through another one of my wrestling matches and look at the Ghost Brothers. Look at the asshole Ghost Brothers taking advantage of what was supposed to be a nice handshake. Now if you want the information, this is down at Kapow Wrestling, uh, defending my Kapow Tag Team Championships. Please do check out Kapow. Like, one of the things I did want to mention when I talked about this, look I'm already up, I'm mad, I'm pissed, I didn't enjoy that is there are different shows when it comes to pro wrestling, right? And you get your, your adult shows, your kid shows, your local shows. And I would, I don't mean this disparagingly at all. I love them. Boom, take that. This is what you would call a local show, I would suppose, where, you know, you are performing in front of families in, you know, sort of venues like this. And I tell you, it's an absolute blast. It's an absolute ball. It's kind of more about just having fun than trying to put on a five-star wrestling classic. And I think that's really cool. I was like this as well. Look, double suplexing. Good, good timing, Miller. Late up, first down. Appalling. <laughs> Appalling by me. But yeah, I love the fact that, you know, when you turn up... I was annoyed the cameraman didn't get more of this as well. Threw, threw him into the, into the one of the Ghost Brothers into the, the post there. And I just wanted to sit down and chill out. Because you can do stuff like that on these, uh, on these events. But unfortunately, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't captured. And I shouldn't say this either, but that was Rishi. And he is... Man, what a hoot he was. He probably cracked me up in this match about 10 times and I had to hide my hand, I had my face in my hands. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make is, is that you can, again, you can do more fun spots like this. So they come in, they knee me in the gut, they're going to give me the double knees. And I can just take, I mean, I'm not going to call it a silly bump, but a more exaggerated bump. Like, I mean, Ric Flair, eat your heart out. And again, they go to do it again later. But this time, you know, you can kind of see it coming a mile away. But I think that's the fun. I pop up. I take him, come here you, come here you, up they go, double back suplex. Um, and yeah, it, it, you just, I can't tell you how much these, these, these put a smile on my face. Look how long I take to do that hot tag there, because that's just how wrestling works. Get a bit of a monkey flip. So yeah, I kind of wanted to show you the other, the other side of wrestling. And every time I put these shows like this up, you always get one person going, oh, Miller, what's the point? Look how good. So you don't get it, man. You don't get, well, in my opinion, you don't get the, um, the, the art of performing makes me sound too wanky. I don't mean it like that. But there is, there is just something, again, like I said, about being backstage, knowing what the crowd is and fitting a, a match around that that keeps wrestling so interesting and so creative and you know that makes you want to uh, it just makes you want to keep going so you can kind of see what you're going to do tonight i love that move as well it's just absolutely eaten alive <laughs> oh it's so good i should say there as well raja who obviously is, is the other brother here was was equally as uh <laughs> <laughs> equally as ridiculous in terms of in terms of making me laugh another hot tag here you all know about the hot tags you don't have to explain it give him a line and then you know standard stuff you just give him a slam there boom he's going to turn around give him a slam as there boom and again it's just i mean there's there's pros and cons to everything of course double choke slam which i'd never done before either not gonna lie my shoulders kind of hurt on this evening so it wasn't it wasn't my greatest but tag team wrestling this is what I was doing. tag team wrestling is cool Tag team wrestling is really cool because you get to do stuff like that. In fact, I'm going to rewind that bit and do it again. I mean, that's just a simple thing. Throw somebody into a cutter. But again, it's when you start when you're trying to come up and formulate your match. You think, oh man, we can do we can do more stuff like that. Of course, classic ref bump here. Poor referee. He probably turned up, didn't know he was going to get smashed. And again, you can tell these little stories. And because you almost treat it like a pantomime, I guess. And again, I mean that in a good way. The kids really buy into it. So here he goes to hit me with the belt. I miss him. I give him a spine buster. But now... You know, this, it's such an easy thing for, like I say, a younger wrestling fan to buy into. He tries to take the belt off me. I twonk him in the face. But it's like, oh, maybe I should hit him with the title. Because I'm a good guy. I'm a face. It's not what I want to do. But I want to keep hold of my tag team championships. And that one kid, that one kid is the best. The one kid pointing and go, no, hit him. Hit him. He's like, he doesn't care. He is just bought into it entirely. So I give him the spear instead. But unfortunately, there's no referee to make the count because he got taken out by by the uh, by flying. I should I should mention, of course, my tag team partner, uh, Major Lee Buff, who is also an absolutely excellent dude, and all all the shout out in the world to him. But it comes back to pay me off. Look, I get smashed in in, in the head. I get knocked out, and I am about little spoiler. I am about to lose. Uh, my tag team titles but when you're walking out and again you've got kids saying oh I should have won you should have won it really really sucks it's just I don't know there's there's, there's just something really cool about it and when I got this footage through I thought oh man I can actually show like I say just a different a different lens you'll shine a different lens uh, on, on the wrestling scene and the stuff that you get to do and why it, it remains so interesting and why it remains so cool and why right now I absolutely have a blast like 24 hours later I was at a much more adult orientated show so I had a harder hitting match and both, I walked away with a huge smile on my face. So check out Kapow Wrestling. And uh, yeah, I'll chat to you again soon.